Hi, everybody. Welcome. You're watching the Pocono Television Network. I'm Chris Barrett. We're so happy to have you today here at Mountain View Winery in the Pocono Mountains. It's such a beautiful day here. Oh, my gosh. Weather sunny. It's in the 70s. This is one of the most beautiful places here in the Poconos. But <clears throat> it's a really, really special day, and I want to bring some special folks in. But before I do, I want to say welcome to everyone watching us on WLZH 18.6, Harrisburg, Lebanon, York, Pennsylvania. You are new to our network. We're so happy to have you today. And of course, everybody watching us everywhere on PoconoTelevision.com or on the m numerous cable systems and streaming services. But right now, I want to bring in Linda and Randy Rice. They're just such great people. Known them for such a long time. Guys, you have to tell me. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Well, you got to this is a special day for both of you, right? Yes. Actually, it is the 15th anniversary of our business being open, and it's our 35th wedding anniversary, all on the same day. Now, <coughs> Randy's got the mic today, so he's in control. <laughs> he's in control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the one thing I do want to ask you um, is uh, what, t today that we're here, um, what, ha what happened here today? Well, we invited um, some of our guests who have been visiting us for all of these 15 years. So it was really, really a special day. Uh, and we also had some of our staff who have helped us with keeping the grounds absolutely gorgeous. And some of them since the very beginning. Uh, so we invited the most important people who help us do what we do, as well as the PMVB and State Senator Rosemary Brown came to join us today as well to celebrate. Because this is a really important day and one of the things we want to do is I think we have some B-roll we want to run so folks can see where we're at. But uh, when he runs that, we're going to move and, and, and take a look at, um, so you can run that, Kevin, because I want to show the folks what this looks like. So we're going to take a move now down to where there's some cabanas and some other folks. Um, <coughs> This is just such a gorgeous place. I can't say <laughs> enough about it. And you're going to see it here in a few seconds. Um, okay, so you should be seeing. Okay, so good. So um, I want to ask you guys, what is your story? Because you have an incredible story. Do you want to answer or do you want me to? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you got to use more. <laughs> So Linda was a pharmaceutical rep and I was a teacher and we took a trip to the Finger Lakes um, and we just had such a great time, so much fun, it was beautiful, uh, the wines were great, um, I never really experienced anything like it and so on our way home I said to Linda, um, I think I'd like to try my hand at this and see if we can't um, create a small vineyard, sell some wine and uh, and see if we could create something like this at home. And I thought he was crazy because the property we owned at the time was on the side of a really steep mountain and it was a forest. So we had built a house halfway up the mountainside surrounded by woods. And so literally we had to cut down a forest over a four year period insane. And then we planted a vineyard and we just kept growing and growing and growing until we were able to grow into this gorgeous property that's over 90 acres. Uh, with, we've planted so far about 13 and a half acres of vines here and every year we add something new for the guest experience like the cabanas behind us, a lot of outside bars so that no one has to wait. Um, it, it's just been a, a great, great experience for the guests and a great experience for us. So Randy, you were a teacher, right? Is that right? Correct. And what did you teach? I taught electrical technology. So I taught um, motor control, hydraulics, pneumatics. Um, PLCs, programmable logic controllers, and house wiring. Yeah, people thought that he, they think he must have taught science or chemistry, biology, because of what we do right. here. And thank God he has the background he does because he fixes everything. Um, it's a very expensive business with the kind of uh, uh, equipment that we have and he's able he keeps everything running otherwise we would probably lose our shirts with just paying people <laughs> to fix it and then I, I used to be a pharmaceutical sales rep so my background is sales and marketing and together it works so you guys uh, th you totally really how did you start um, planting here and your first vines because I remember you told that story too that was kind of cool mm -hmm. 
Well, actually, it was my uh, summer off from teaching, and I had just uh, installed a 70-foot long split rail fence along our driveway. And I said, uh, I think I'd like to dig a ditch, a two by three foot deep ditch and, and plant vines in there, modify the soil and see if we could get some grapes to grow. And uh, of course, because of all that preparation, they grew like weeds. So I was able to convince Linda that this could work on the side of our mountain. Yeah, that's crazy. That's why our, our uh, logo is a goat, mountain goat in a wine glass, because I felt like, oh my gosh, I'd say you've got to be a mountain goat to work this property. That was the old property. It was insane. It was totally insane. Yeah. But this is a, what I love about this is the the view is so mm. gorgeous. I mean, this has got to be, if you're out here enjoying wine, right? This has got to be one of the best um, views to have while you're drinking wine and enjoying it here. I think so. This is our second location. We sold the other property, but this is the most spectacular, especially now in the fall. It, over the next few weeks, it is going to be changing to reds and golds, and it's just going to be spectacular. I think we have the m most beautiful property in the Poconos, if I dare say. <laughs> That's my opinion. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And just being outside and enjoying nature, like people love to be here. Yeah, they do. I think that's one of the great things about it. And Randy, I remember a long time ago, we asked you about winemaking here. So what are your premier wines, if I could ask? Right now we have a, a nice barrel aged uh, wine called Vision. Um, it's a, a rather uh, full bodied dry red. Um, and because it's been barrel aged in brandy barrels, it uh, takes on a very mellow but uh, distinctive flavor and aroma, um, distinctive of the brandy that we make here at Mountain View. And I think one of the great things too <coughs> that we could tell the folks out there is that if folks come to visit, they c you're here so much. You're the owners, you're yeah. the founders. Yeah. They could ask you questions like that, yes. right? About yes. how to make wine. And yes, and the, and the day that we're absolutely always here and available is a Saturday because uh, Randy is still very much involved in the vineyard. He's involved in the production side. A lot of that happens during the week. I'm more back of house and I'm doing all the government reports and so on and so forth. But every Saturday we host two different tours um, weather permitting, one is a hay wagon tour around the property where Which he drives the tractor and I give the history of our, our business and then the different types of grapes that we grow, which are different than what people are used to. Um, and our, I talk about our sustainable agriculture as well. And then that is followed by another tour um, where I take a little walk into the vineyard and talk about our sustainable agriculture, our grape varieties, and then I take them into the production area and talk a little bit about um, how we do what we do, the magic that happens downstairs. But you do have to sign up and register for those online. Well, that's really interesting, Randy, because you took us through there a few years ago. I think it was like mm -hmm. two or three years ago. And, and what is the difference with grapes grown here? What is that difference? Well, the real difference is we grow uh, hybrids that are disease resistant and cold hardy, which means we can grow our wine, our, our plants much more sustainably with a lot less spraying of, uh, of fungicides and, and uh, mold preventers. So um, we just believe that it's uh, an opportunity to create a healthier um, wine um, that has uh, no chemical flavors to it. That's great. Before we go, though, I do want to ask, what is your experience here different than other stops on the beverage trail that folks might have here in the Poconos? So probably the biggest difference is that we're the only producers in this region who produce wine, beer, and distilled spirits. So all we three. produce all three. And then we have a full kitchen, a full service kitchen. So we're kind of like a restaurant that produces its own alcohol. So I think in that respect, we're different than the rest of the folks. Um, everyone does a fantastic job. It's just that we have all produce all three product lines. And you get to eat here while you're drinking. Yeah, did we talk about the view? Can't remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did we talk about the view? I, I'm sorry. It is the most spectacular view. It's God's yes. country. And it, actually, it really, you know, it really is. And right is. there is the sunset. That's where the sun sets. And it's 
gorgeous if you happen to be here in the evening when it goes down. Because I wish the sun was setting now so I folks know. could see it. It is but beautiful. I think all of us want to congratulate you on two huge milestones, right? 15 Thank years you. of business, yes. 35 years of marriage. Yes. So off camera, I'll ask these guys what the secret is to <laughs> the 35 <laughs> years. And that'll be so Compromise. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much thank for being you. with thank us. Thanks just for really having us. Oh, my gosh, yes. we appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for joining us. This was just a little snippet here. Oh, this is such a beautiful uh, beverage trail experience here in the Pocono Mountains. And uh, if you would like to go, to um, go on our website at PoconoMountains.com, and you can find anything you need to find about the Poconos Beverage Trail. Um, that's really what we would we'd love to see you do because there's so many experiences here with the beverage trail it's really great um, also too don't forget falls coming there's a lot happening here in the Pocono Mountains in fall and this view back here as uh, Linda described will just get gorgeous in the fall so the weather is usually a little bit more moderate and you can enjoy just the views you can enjoy walking through many of our towns it's a fantastic experience now if I may say too if you need any information about that, please visit us at PoconoMountains.com slash events. But before I go, I'm gonna just going to have uh, Zane, who does amazing camera work, just show you a little bit of the view that we were talking about, and I'm going to step out of frame. So today, um, we thank you so much for watching. I'm Chris Barrett for the Pocono Television Network. Have a great day.